Hey, how's it going guys? Colton Mush here. In this video, we're going to be talking all about SSDs. SSD prices have been coming lower and lower, and it's been something I've been being asked a lot recently, is why do I go with hard drives in my budget and build over an SSD when nowadays SSDs are fairly cheap? You can get 120 gigabyte SSDs for like $60. You can get 250 gigabyte SSDs for like $120. Actually, the other day, I saw one terabyte SSD for $350. Now, while that does sound expensive, considering a one terabyte hard drive is only like $50, Keep in mind that one terabyte SSDs about a year ago or two years ago were like a thousand dollars. So SSD prices have been going down and down as we move on. Hard drive prices are relatively staying the same and you're going to see eventually maybe in the next year or two that SSD prices and capacity are going to rival that of hard drives as well. But how essential is an SSD to your gaming PC build? I'm going to take a look at some of the positives of an SSD. It's a lot faster, of course. It's all flash memory. There's no moving parts. So if you put a game like Battlefield 4 on an SSD, you're going to get into multiplayer games much faster. The most common thing to do with an SSD is to put your OS on it. Your OS is going to boot up in seconds compared to if it was on a hard drive, which usually takes roughly a minute. Um, if you like your OS booting up right away, that's pretty cool. I'm the kind of guy that just leaves their PC on all the time. I literally turn my PC off like once a month to do updates. But uh, yeah... Um, if you are the kind of guy that turns off your PC every night and, you know, you're kind of annoyed by it taking a minute to turn back on, an SSD might be something that you want to look into. And like I said, games, uh, Battlefield, for example, it's going to load up really fast into multiplayer games. A game that I love putting on my SSD is Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I have a lot of mods loaded up on that, and that game takes forever to load sometimes, but when I put it on an SSD much faster. Now, the biggest thing that I like about SSD, like I said before, it is all flash memory. There's no moving parts, meaning that it has a much lower chance of failure compared to a hard drive. A mechanical hard drive fails all the time because there's so many moving parts, and if it crashes and your OS is on there, well, your PC is pretty much dead if you don't have another drive to put your OS onto. That actually happened to me. I had my hard drive, but I had an SSD as well. My hard drive crashed. It was a one terabyte uh, WD blue, but I still had that SSD, so so I could still use my computer, I could still browse the internet, get on Steam, all that kind of stuff. And then when I did, I just got a new hard drive, put it in, and I was good to go. So that's really great. An SSD works as a crux, um, whereas as if you do have just a hard drive and it does crash, which it does happen often. Like I said, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, you know, you're going to be shit out of luck if you don't have a second hard drive to boot uh, that OS into. And the SSD, they pretty much never fail. I have never talked to anyone, any of my friends that have an SSD, none of them have ever had an SSD fail on them. So that's a great additional benefit. I think that's the biggest benefit of an SSD because of the failure rate of hard drives, it is kind of high. So that's unfortunate. I think an SSD, if you do want that extra crux uh, being there, that you know your PC is always good to go at all times, even if the hard drive goes, then I think an SSD will do you a lot of good. But I still don't think we're at that point where we can just get an SSD and eliminate the hard drive altogether. At least that's not practical for a lot of people. While I did say one terabyte SSDs do exist, exist there's still $350 and that's like the price of a GTX 970 that's just absolutely absurd where you can get a one terabyte hard drive for like $55 $60 even lower than that in some cases on a budget build I would honestly recommend getting a hard drive over an SSD but if you can get both, if you can get a one terabyte hard drive and say a 60, 120 gigabyte SSD, primarily to put your OS and your key applications, then I would highly, highly, highly recommend that. You guys don't know how much I would recommend that. It's just gonna help the boot time of your PC, the whole maneuvering of your PC, just getting from application to application, it makes a lot of applications run a lot smoother. And it's great to have, like I said, as an extra lag, if your hard drive does crash, you're gonna have the SSD still there. And while your games might go with the hard drive you can still browse the internet you can still you know do your emails do all your key stuff uh, except for you know play games that were on your other hard drive that's what i love about ssds that you always have that extra leg to rely on if your other hard drive uh your mechanical hard drive does crash so that's absolutely great so if you guys do have the money to buy an ssd and a hard drive at the same time i would 100 recommend it would i recommend an ssd by itself probably not like i said a lot of people can't get by with 120 or 250 gigabytes when you got games these days, like GTA 5 being 65 gigabytes. You got games like, you know, Star Citizen coming out likely being 100 gigabytes. Just doesn't uh, make it too practical to get just an SSD unless you're getting a one terabyte SSD, which at that point, why not just get a hard drive as well? Because you got $350 for an SSD. Might as well get a couple terabytes of hard drive storage as well. Uh, SSDs are great. 
I still don't think we're at that point where you can just rely on a single SSD. You still need that mechanical drive because that mechanical drive is going to give you a lot more storage for a lot lower of a price. So if you guys can, pick up a small SSD, like 120 gigabytes, maybe 250 gigabytes, but always get that mechanical drive as well because that's going to give you a lot of storage. And, you know, those Steam sales, man, you're going to buy all those games. They got to go somewhere. That mechanical hard drive is there for a reason. The SSD key applications here, games that you access the most, the video editing programs you use the most, like Sony Vegas, that's a great idea as well. Um, SSDs are great, we're just not at that point where you can just get an SSD and most of you guys are going to be fine. At least, you know, for some of you guys, you'll be good with just an SSD. 250 gigabytes is a lot to you guys and, you know, you might play one or two games at a time and that's it. Most of us, I don't think it's going to be good, especially, like I said, those damn Steam sales going to be buying like 10 games, $5 each, and, you know, you're just out of storage all of a sudden. So thanks for watching this video, guys. SSDs are great. I recommend you pick one up, but there's some drawbacks, too, obviously, with the price. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Remember to hit that subscribe button, like this video if you enjoyed, comment down below with your requests for future videos, and I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day. Peace.